Hey guys, what's happening? It's Goggle Tag, and guess what time it is? It's time for the new channel break for iOS 5. Now, this also works on iOS 5.0.1, and of course, this is a untethered jailbreak. Now, give a round of applause for the Pod2G user on Twitter. He's been updating us on his latest jailbreak, and he has now posted his new jailbreak onto the Dev Team Blog for Rich No Tews. Now let's get started. First off, you do not need to get any firmware for this, so that's really awesome. All you need to do is have your iPod, iPhone, or iPad 1. This doesn't work for the iPad 2, sadly, but anyways, plugged into your computer as always before you start this jailbreak. Okay, I'm just going to open up this. And as you can see, I have my iPod Touch plugged in, and I will just re-jailbreak this iPod Touch. And um, just to show you that this is running iOS 5.0.1, I will be going into my settings. Um, let me go into my general about, and I'm just going to scroll down, and as you can see right there, um, it's not that clear, but there you go. I am running iOS 5.0.1. On my iPod Touch 4th generation, I am running the 32-bit um, gigabyte, but that doesn't really matter. So anyways, now you're going to need to go to this website. I will be having the description um, in the description below. I'll be having this website there, a link to the website. And um, right away, you will see the Untethered Holidays after you will scroll down until you see the Red Snow 0.910B3 for iOS X, OS X, or Windows. Um, make sure to go and hit it as administrator mode if you are running a a Vista computer or a Windows 7 computer. This right here is, um, I'm not sure what this, this link right here is, but click any of these ones and it will lead you to the download page. Now I've already downloaded it right here. Um, let me just get out and let me download it again. So here it is. I'm going to hit on click here to download the attachment. I'm going to hit on open with. There we go. And as you can see, I'm just going to clear the list. Have a nice fresh one. And I will wait for it to be done installing. Now after it's done installing, I'm going to go on with this tutorial. Okay, it's almost done. And there we go. So it's just scanning for viruses, and now it's opened the file in RINRAR. If you do not have RINRAR, I also have that download link in the description below too. Now let's open up the file. Let's open up. And let's wait for it to be done downloading. Now, as I said, this is a tether jailbreak, so you will not need to um, boot as tethered each time you need to reboot your iDevice, which is amazing. So all you need to do is go and hit on the jailbreak button. Now I'm just going to close out of this site, close out of here, get my iPod Touch right here, and let's get started. Hold the power button for 3 seconds, power button and hold button for 10 seconds. Let's wait for that to be unloading. There you go. Now release the power button, but keep on holding on the home button for another 10 seconds, or 7 seconds for me. There you go. Now it's identifying. Make sure that you keep on holding on the home button, or this may not work for you. It's uploading the first stage, the second stage, and now it's waiting for a reboot. Let's wait for it to be done loading. And just wait. Keep on waiting. Now it's identifying it. And we can release the home button now. Now, just wait for it to, um, for the jailbreak data to load. Now, as you can see, it says install Cydia or enable battery percentage. Um, if you have a tether jailbreak, if you already have a tether jailbreak, um, from clicking on that, um, video, it's somewhere at the top of this video, um, I'll have a link to that Tether jailbreak. I don't know why, but if you do have a Tether jailbreak for iOS 5, there is no need 
to um, restore your iPod Touch, just make sure that you um, didn't install Corona. Um, it's a software in Cydia. Basically, makes your iPod Touch untethered. If you have that, you better uninstall it before you do this process, or you will need to restart your iPod Touch. Restore your iPod Touch. Now, I don't. I already have. Um, my iPod Touch jailbroken um, for Tether, so I'm just gonna take out the install and take out the enable battery percentage. I'm gonna hit on next and then just wait for the iPod Touch to be jailbroken. So just wait for it to be downloading and then, yeah, I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so um, as you can see right here. My iPod Touch is in the process of jailbreaking. If you think that your iPod Touch is being hacked, and um, no worry, no one's hacking into your iPod Touch. This is just a normal process of jailbreaking it. Just give it some time. Keep on waiting for it. Sweet. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to come back to you when it's actually done, this. Okay, so my jailbreak is done. And as you could see right here, my iPod Touch. There we go. I'm going to slide to unlock. And as you could see, I'm now jailbroken. Now, just open up Cydia. Um, it won't um, have the process of needing to install Cydia um, like, the un like the Tether jailbreak. Um, it's already installed into your iPod Touch, so right away, it's going to lead you to the um, user, hacker, or developer option um, of use for the Cydia. And, um, yeah, there we go. So